Tonight, it's the cruelest cut of all. And it all comes down to your vote. Four worthy opponents. One will fall at the final hurdle. Live, this is Dancing with the Stars. Hollywood. This is Dancing with the Stars. Welcome to Dancing with the Stars, our live result show. I'm Tom Bergeron. And I'm Samantha Harris. Last night's semifinals was our most unforgettable night so far. Eight electrifying performances and the fiercest level of competition we've seen. There is more tension in this ballroom right now than ever before. After coming this close to the finals, none of these stars wants to go home. But for one couple, it is the end of the line. That's right. Now, plus, we've got spectacular performances by Grammy nominee Michael Bublé. Last season's champion Alec Mazza was back. And one of our professionals, Ashley Del Grosso, takes on a rank amateur, me. It was the most demanding night of the competition. Two dances to master and a place in the finals at stake. Oh, shut up about that. Please, please. please be After a week of tension, Stacy and Tony put their troubles aside. Performing a fast pace so close, finishing on top was crucial. Drew came out firing with an elegant foxtrot and a raunchy rumba that had Len seeing red. It was too hard. It was all good, you like that. It was far too <laughs> aggressive. The rumba is romance. This was like, go on, I'll knock your bloody head off. It's called passion, yeah. Len. We have passion and chemistry on the floor. Not everyone expresses themselves with a smile when they're they being this passionate little, with somebody. They have somebody. this little blue pill that if you're having a problem with your passion, this little blue pill will knock it right off. Though Len's words were tough, they didn't affect the scoreboard, and it was Drew and Stacy tied at the top. Lisa Carroll with 55 out of a possible 60, but next with 53 are Lisa and Louie. And coming in last are Jerry and Anna with 41 out of 60. This last night, one in particular stood out with our judges as the most impressive. That's right, and with the final judges encore of the series, a dance they wish to dedicate to Len, here with their rumba, Drew and Cheryl. Dancing the rumba. Drew Lachey and his partner, Cheryl Burke. Turn around. Every now and then I get a little lonely and you're never coming round. Turn around. Every now and then I get a little bit terrified and then I see the look in your eyes.
a standing ovation led by Lynn. The judges' scores and your votes for Drew and Cheryl have already been counted, so their rumble won't count for or against them. <laughs> Samantha is backstage with our star. All right, thanks, Tom. Well, of course, I'm with the three other couples who are desperate to get into next week's finals. So let's take a look. Tested along with their patience. At a time in the competition when every step counts, here's what the judges have to say about our semifinalists, their strengths and their weaknesses. This competition is the clash of the titans. You've got Stacy, the natural. Drew the fighter, Jerry, the competitor, and you've got Lisa, the charmer. We've got completely different characters out there on the dance floor, and I think it's going to be, well, who knows what it's going to be. What I love about Drew, he comes to the floor and gives 100%. He's like a volcano. His footwork is so sharp and precise and musical. He doesn't miss a beat. And he's right on it all the time. That was fun. It was fast. It was fantastic. Because Drew is so committed, sometimes his technique fails a little bit. He actually hits nice lines, but he doesn't quite finish them if he just adds a little bit more breath to his movements and doesn't stop them. It's going to be fantastic. Stacy is the most naturally talented of all our celebrities. Stacy's legs are amazing. I've never seen anything like it. I mean, supermodel legs. She's got the best legs I've ever seen. She might be the best naturally gifted dancer, but, um... Good enough, she may get a 10. For me, you have arrived with the best dancers in the competition. Whatever happens, whoever wins, I want the most exciting show ever. I think anybody who thinks they know what's going to happen is wrong. <laughs> Welcome back to Dancing with the Stars, the results. As you know, last night our couples took on two individual dances for the first time. So. To our judges, bearing in mind the extra workload, who impressed you most, Gary Ann? Well, I have to say that Drew and Cheryl, once again, you know, you stayed at the top of your band for both of your performances. And what was so great is, Drew, you brought out two completely different characters. There was the elegant Drew and the new sexy hot Drew. All right, well, well I, I used to watch the American football on English television, and my hero was always Jerry. And what I like, Jerry, you used to rush out. Right, and they've supported our stars every step of the way. So let's take a look at their unsung heroes. When Jerry first approached the family about whether he should even try, you know, dancing with the stars and ballroom dancing, you know, we were like, what? The kids and myself, we were for it 100% because it was something that was totally not Jerry. What have I gotten myself into? <laughs> When she first decided to do it, she said, what am I doing? I can't do this. And I said, well, sweetie, what you can... Ballroom dancer. Ever. I would have never imagined her doing ballroom dancing because it's something that she didn't know about. Now she has a deep respect for it. Rougeté and <laughs> sachet. Not a and... The real harassment on my part didn't really start until I, I saw his dance shoes with the two-inch heel. We tease him, Nick and I especially tease him. The dancer, don't bother the dancer. He's focused. This is all consuming for Lisa. I mean, she really can focus on nothing else. Oh, it's rehearse, come home, eat, go to sleep. And when he's not doing that, he has the TiVo on watching his shows from the previous week. Every morning, he and Anna are working from 9 to 1. Why? <laughs> then from 6 to 10 at night. So the hours are just crazy for him. Mr. Rice is cooked. I would not be surprised if he won the whole thing. Nobody works harder than Jerry Rice. Like if I'm in the kitchen cooking, he'll stop me from cooking and grab my hand, and we'll just dance around the kitchen every so often. It definitely added a little oomph to our marriage. Thursday show day is always pretty incredible. I'm pretty nervous all day Thursday. Probably gets the worst for me right before he goes on. 
it makes me really nervous, like almost to the point of hyperventilating nervous. And my palms start dripping, and I'm like looking at Leah, and she and I are both, you know, it's just a helpless feeling. Usually within two or three seconds, I'm, I, I calm right down because I see that she knows what she's doing. She's having a great time, and it's going to be a success. I want Jerry to win this. Uh, nothing would please me more than to see next to the Super Bowl trophies, next to the MVP trophies, is to have that Dancing with the Stars trophy. This competition means so much to Drew. He is so determined to win this competition that if he doesn't win, <laughs> I'm actually kind of frightened. <laughs> I know that his competitive fire is burning, and it's burning strong, and he wants to win this thing. And I want him to win it badly, because I know how hard he's worked. You get a flood of emotions. You really do. You, you see her as a little girl, and then all of a sudden, she's this beautiful woman. She's really going out there, using those long legs, using that height, using that, that attitude, you know, to really entertain and, and just dominate the competition. So I'm really, really, really very proud of her. I see her go to this level, and I see the dedication, and I see the skill that she's acquired in, in the last six weeks. And how can you not be proud of that? Just watching Jerry dance is just a joy. It just makes my heart just, just melt. I've seen him win a lot of things in his life. But for him to win this, I'll have to shed a tear for this one. The biggest thing for me that I'm so proud of him is people are seeing how talented he is. You know, he's really shining, and I, I think it's great. You know, it brings tears to your eyes, you know, how proud we are of her. We're very extremely you know, proud. <laughs> I believe in his potential and his power to be a star, and that's what I've always told him. I'm incredibly proud. Get here. Only three of them can continue to next week's finals. Having combined the judges' scores and your votes, we can now reveal in random order the first two couples who have been saved to dance in the finals. The first couple definitely continuing on. Drew and Cheryl. Temperatures return the weekend forecast at 11. Welcome back to Dancing with the Stars. The results. When we last left you, these two couples had been saved by your votes. Two couples are battling for the only... In on Sunday, February 26th, that's Sunday, the night you've all been waiting for, the grand finale when one of our couples will be crowned Dancing with the Stars champions. And now we leave you with Lisa and Louie's last televised dance. See you next time. Oh. Hollywood splits.